the cramped and congested slum areas, the violence brought about by gang fights and crime, the huge trucks in the port area, the notorious landfill of Smoky Mountain, the Feast of Santo Nino, the roving image of the Black Nazarene, and the shopping mecca of Divisoria. This is the district of Tondo, lying north of the downtown core of Manila. This sprawling and proletarian district serves as the terminal of a railroad and disembarkation point of inter-island ships in the metro. Considered as the most densely populated area in Manila, Tondo absorbed a multitude of migrants from different provinces dreaming of a better life and striving hard to escape from the cesspool of poverty. However, in spite of the impoverished picture of Tondo, hope and light still emanate from the faces of young people. The dignity of life springs from each and every soul. doon busko kasi may pangarap siya na makapagtapos sa pangaral kahit pa paano makapagtrabaho siya ng maayos uh, kahit ganito lang ang ano namin uh, kalagayan nagsisikap kami nagsisikap din siya para mapaundat ang pamumuhay namin ang gusto niya mangyari na makapagpakamasok sa doon busko para matupad yung pangarap Muna po, hindi ko po alam na kung paano ko magsusukod yung pangarap ko. Kaya naisipan ko kung mag-aral. Mag Para nang sa ganun, pagka nakatapos po ako, matulungan ko po yung magulang ko. Narinig ko po yung ano yung dumbos ko. Nagpapasalamat po ako sa dumbos ko. Dahil kung wala po sila, siguro yung mga pangarap ko, hindi ko alam kung saan ko po makukuha o maaabot. Bali yung dumbos kong nagbibigay sa akin ng daan para makuha ko yung pangarap. This vision of young people striving for a better life was seen in the vision of a dreamer named St. John Bosco. It all started with a dream, a dream that called Don Bosco to a mission to save the souls of the young by uplifting their quality of life. Don Bosco's presence was felt in Tondo by the year 1968 when the first Salesians, composed of missionaries and local vocations, came here to establish the Don Bosco Youth Center as an oratory open for the young people. By that time, we were able to start our work and even establish its name as a, an, an open place where people will be able to really give time and help each other to become better Christians. That's why by the year 1970, the place was so lucky to be chosen as a place where Pope Paul VI would come and bless the place with his presence and uh, a visit to some of the houses around. Uh, by the year 1971, the Bosco Event Center, as it is now known, was also established as an out-of-school youth to serve the many serving poor people to be able to come up with a better future for them. We're just so lucky with the help of the congregation and uh, with the cooperation of the local people around, we were able to have a name established as the Bosco Tibet Center that is now known to be able to really help a lot of young people have a bright future. Through the help of generous people in the country and abroad, they established the Don Bosco Youth Center, a charitable institution that facilitates both the technical education and spiritual formation of the young. In the midst of mountains of garbage and dirty streets, Don Bosco Youth Center opened its gates to young people who earnestly want to learn skills that will enable them to find work. Characterized by an atmosphere that is family-like and serene, they are able to hone their talents and develop their skills.
Today, the Don Bosco Youth Center continues to evolve as it tries to cope with the demands of the modern world of work by incorporating machineries and equipment in its programs, thereby contributing greatly to the quality of the training of its graduates. Don Bosco Youth Center's identity is embodied in this logo. The Pentagon represents its five core values. The cross symbolizes Jesus and also faith and sacrifice. The laurel leaves and gear represent technical and academic education. The twin goals of the School for the Development of the Filipino Youth. Water signifies our nearness to nature. The blue color symbolizes our devotion to Mary. The mitre symbolizes our submission to the authority of the Pope. And our motto, Per Angusta Ad Augusta, which means through difficulties to greatness. It points to our vision and mission of forming servant leaders who are also industry benchmarks. pagpupursige ng mga kaparian na mapabuti yung yung mga kabataan na katulad ko nung time na yon. Kaya pag iniisip ko yung Don Bosco, binigyan ako ng kaalaman at hindi lang kaalaman ang ibinigay sa akin, pati yung akin spiritual ay naibigay ng Don Bosco at pati na rin yung kabuhayan. Ngayon, kahit na medyo umaangat ang buhay ko, Ang Don Bosco, hanggang sa mga anak ko, hanggang siguro sa kaapuapuhan ko, eh, ikinukwento ko sa kanila yung karanasan ko at ang mga biyayang uh, naibigay ng Don Bosco sa akin. It was 1978 when I first met uh, Don Bosco, when I heard the Don Bosco Youth Center. Then from then on, doon na nagsimula lahat. So I grabbed the opportunity, nag-aaral ako dito, at uh, Successfully, graduate naman ako. Matapos ko yung uh, SIPT ko. Hindi pa rin ako tumigil noon. Nag-aral pa rin ako sa college at uh, nagtatrabaho ko as welder sa gabi. And then in the morning, nagtumutulong ko sa simbahan. In the afternoon until night, nag-aaral ako. Kinuha nila ako as uh, pool keeper sa dating uh, welding shop na yun ay SMAW. Eh, I uh, started from scratch at taunti-unti ay talagang nagsisikapan ko na hindi na hanggang doon at still keep it. Unti-unti, magsimikap ako para makita nila yung, yung aking kakayanan hanggang sa naging event director. After ko mag-graduate ng high school, wala akong plano sa buhay. Kasi hindi ko alam kung anong course na kukunin ko. Hanggat may pinsan ako nag-aral dito, at niyaya akong mag-enroll. Sa awa ng Diyos, kumasa naman ako sa exam. At ngayon, nagtuloy-tuloy na po. April 2009, pinapoint po ako bilang isang account. Malaking pasasalamat ko po kay Lord, kay Mama Mary, at kay Don Bosco na nandito po ako ngayon sa Don Bosco hanggang ngayon. Way back 2007, pumasok ako ng Don Bosco Tondo bilang isang feeder machinist na may pangarap na makapagtapos at makatulong sa pamilya. Pero na-realize ko na masigit pa yung gusto ko, masigit pa sa pera yung gusto ko. Gusto ko po talagang mag-serve kay God, mag-serve sa mga kabataan na tulad ko. At hanggang ngayon, dahil sa tulong ng mga Salisiano, naging brother, Salisian brother, at yan ay dahil sa kanila. At uh, utang na loob ko sa kanila. At sana itong utang na loob na to ay ma-share ko sa mga kabataan na nangarap tulad ko. Ako po si Andy Diebron, nag-aaral ko sa ating Bosco. Sa kursong Automotive NC2. Nakapasok ko ng ating Bosco dahil po sa pagkada ko. May garage school na ako kumakasok. Natuto po ang 
manalangin sa Panginoon is natuto po, natuto po maibagay sa mga tao, dahil na sa mga kapataang katulad ko. Ako po si Elizabeth Vitaros, ng kurso Book Reading NC3. Lahat ng mga pinsan ko uh, dito nagtapos sa so far lahat sila ng mga magaganda ng kailangan. Masaya ako pinasok dito sa itong boss ko kasi marami kang matutunan sa values, lalo na sa, lalo na hindi mo wala yung pagdaras na With the help of generous people and of the local community, Don Bosco Youth Center is committed to actualize the dream that was revealed by God to St. John Bosco. Thank you for listening to our history. Thank you for listening to our stories. Please continue to support and help us in whatever way possible that we may be able to continue the mission Don Bosco has entrusted to us. Continue to help us and support us that we may be able to fulfill the dreams of our young people. God bless you.